Hello everybody, my name is Nathan125 and welcome back to Minecraft again. But this time we're not doing our normal surviving in Minecraft 1.16 as we are going to be taking a look at the first bloody snapshot from Minecraft 1.17. So yes, it had already came out surprisingly enough one month after Minecraft Live 2020. Yep, but it was only in uh, Bedrock first, but, and now here it is in Java, so, yeah. yeah. All of the Bedrock snapshot had the goats and the mountain stuff. You finally accepted me? Yeah, there we go! My mans has finally had enough! Get out of here with your camera built into your head. However, in Java, we pretty much got the geodes and copper stuff, so, uh, yeah. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the features that was added in Java Edition Minecraft 1.17. Sadly, uh, we will not be covering the Bedrock version because, you know, we don't have Bedrock Edition! So, yeah. Anyways... What are you doing, mate? <laughs> I'm just switching through random blocks and yeah. items. Well, I don't have all the- well, I have a few of the items that we're gonna be taking a look, which is copper, light-weathered copper, and semi-weathered copper, and... Oh yes, of course, you can make tunes out of this. Out of the ama- What is Amethyst. it? Amethyst. Amethyst, yeah. As you can see, we are in a geode, Amethyst geode, which is actually one of the new structures that is going to be appearing in this update as well. So let's get started. So the first thing we have here is the amethyst buds and whatnot. So they grow on the budding amethyst block. As shown here. And, and like spawners, they cannot be mined. Nope. Even with silk touch, you cannot obtain them. And the buds... Come. Yeah, they come in different sizes, small, small, medium, large, and then when they grow into their full cycles, they become amethyst clusters. Which looks pretty, if I do say so myself. And I think it, when you mine them, you can get the shard. Which, you can use the shard to basically make other uh, recipes as well, which will be shared. Oh, yep, like that, which will be showed in this video. Anyways, we also have tough and calcite and blocks. Calcite which are around the outside of the geode. The tuff is on the outside of the thing, and the calcite is in between that and the amethyst itself. Yep. The thing we have here is the copper, which generates oh. in ores, the first actual ore since nether gold ore in 1.16. Yep. And with this copper ingot, you can make copper blocks, lightly which weather- can, Which can weather which over time. As shown here. And you could also get cut copper stuff as well, which can be used for building and decoration and all that jazz. Sadly, there is no copper pickaxes, so you'll have to wait until that was that ever comes to play. Or you could just play Terraria, and you can just get the copper uh, tools yourself. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and one more thing. You yeah. can actually wax the copper with a honeycomb, and you get yourself wax copper. Uh, you didn't... How do I? What's the crafting recipe for that? Because you it's didn't. A, it's just one. It's just one copper er, and one honeycomb. All right. So copper one copper and one. Oh shoot! I need to make the block first. Ah! All right. So here is the block. Copper block. Here's how to craft the uh, copper block. What you do is place the copper in the middle and place the waxed, uh, the honeycomb on top in order to get the waxing copper. So yes, and also these do weather over time as well, so yeah. The one crafting recipe we missed out uh, during the whole review, which is the cut copper, which is crafted by using four copper blocks to create cut copper. Now you can use this to create the stairs, slabs, and everything else that we showed in the previous video. However, we did show off the wax copper crafting recipe which is with the use of a honeycomb and a copper block of your choice to create wax copper. You can also do it with lightly weathered copper blocks 
and also the semi-weathered copper blocks. However, you cannot use the wax copper on the fully weathered copper block. Oh, and I also see a typo right there. Block. That is... Okay, I guess. Anyways, you can also wax the cut copper as well in its three variants as well. And here is all of the copper blocks in their weathered stages. Copper will oxidize in 50 to 82 Minecraft days when the chunks are loaded as such. Unfortunately, with the amethyst, we cannot return the block into its shard form. Yeah, so sadly, you're pretty much stuck with the block of amethyst as is. Maybe that might change in future, we'll just have to wait and see. But anyways... The next thing we have here is tinted glass, and you might be wondering, Edward and Nathan, tinted glass is already in the game! No, <clears> it's not. <throat> and this tinted glass here is made from, um, amethyst Four shards amethyst and shards. a piece of glass, and you get two of them. Of course. Yep, as shown, know. here. So, as you can see in the crafting recipe, if you combine four amethysts in a star-like pattern with one glass, you get tinted glass. And that is what it looks like as so. Now, previously, myself and Edward showed you the crafting recipe. However, did you know that this could be mined with a pickaxe without the use of silk touch? That is right. You can now use a pickaxe without silk touch to get tinted glass. However, it still doesn't apply to normal glass, as shown here. So, in a sense, you can still get tinted glass from just using a regular pickaxe without the use of enchantments, but with regular glass, you sadly cannot do it, so rip. Oh, look behind me. Okay. Oh! There's more. Light cannot pass through tinted glass as well, not even light source blocks, such as torches and glowstone, plus sea lanterns as well. So, I made this little box, as such, and if I place the tinted glass here, you can see that it is pretty dark. I cannot see anything, but what's up here, we got ourselves glowstone and tinted glass as well. If I break this, then the room gets light up with no problem. However, if I place the tinted glass back on, then I'm pretty much stuck in darkness. So yeah, I can also pick up tinted glass with just using it with my hand, so that's good to know. And also, you can't see in as well, which I guess is pretty good for spooky maps if I do say so myself. Also, not even a beacon can shine its light through this as well. So, yeah. However, if I break this, then the beacon activates. Screw you, evil face! But yeah, that is pretty much it about tinted glass. And the next thing we have is the lightning rod which does exactly as the name entails, it attracts lightning. Which, if you combine three uh, copper ingots in a line, you get the lightning rod. I will probably show a uh, demonstration on screen right now of how it works. So, uh, yeah. That is what the lightning rod does. What? What? WTF, what the? What? What? And what? Then Right, so the next thing we have is the candle, and and how to craft it is just one honeycomb and one string. Simple as that. And it also comes in different colors as well. Yeah, the and candles come in the 16 different colors, like in Minecraft, and of course you can place them down and light them with flint and steel or anything that generates fire. Though, from what I had discovered, you have to have particles on all in order to see the candles light in all their glory. This might change in future for the minimum and decrease settings on the particles, but we'll have to wait and find out. And also, as shown here, you can also place the candle on this cake, as shown here. Yeah. Unfortunately, only one goes on a cake, while four, a maximum of four can be placed anywhere else, except which will, for water. Which will be shown in the newest part of the cave. The um, deep dark biome, which the, will most likely be added in a later snapshot. Yep. The anyway. next thing we have here is the bundle, and you can craft it with six rabbit hides and two string in that kind of shape. To get the bundle. the bundle. 
the bundle in this this bundle that uh, Edward has has a netherite sword in it. Apparently, you could get some more blocks in it as well, which I will grab one for myself. I think you can so, put. How do I do this? So you have to right-click the bundle with the block in your off in your cursor. Oh, in the cursor. Okay, so. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, basically. Oh, like basically, that. Okay. So I basically dragged the conduits into the bundle, and it just opened it like that. I also I also put a amethyst shard in mine with 63 glass. Although there was icons for the um, item that you put in the bundle. However, in this snapshot, it's not shown. Why I don't know. But uh, it'll yeah. most likely change in a later snapshot. Yeah, and if you right-click the bundle, you will get your items from it. So, yeah. Your item back. Item back, yeah. The last item we have is have the spyglass. Glass. It's with two copper ingots and one amethyst shard. And this is pretty much kind of like the Optifine zoom, as shown here. Yeah, except it zooms in a lot further and it's like a lot narrower. Yeah, true. I see you there, Edward. <laughs> I zoom in on your face. I zoom in on your face as well. So, uh, yeah. Will this compare to Optifine Zoom in future? I don't know. I prefer Optifine in my opinion, but with the telescope, that might change. We'll just have to Maybe wait Maybe we and can see. use both. <laughs> That's if, uh, Mojang can allow that, but, uh, yeah. Next thing we have is lava can now be placed on cauldrons. That is right, lava is now able to fit in cauldrons. It also transmits a redstone signal, as shown here. Now, if I place this lava in the cauldron, then the redstone signal can activate. Let's see what actually happens if I jump into this uh, cauldron. Oh my goodness! Yes, I can burn! Oh my lord! I didn't expect to burn that time, holy crap. So, I guess if you uh, basically uh, go into a cauldron of lava, you pretty much just get burned to death. So yeah, there's something nearby. Better go check it out, winky face. Okay, I guess. Uh, well, let's see what's over here. Wait, what's this? Minecart rails can go underwater? Oh, I guess they do now. So, in previous versions, you weren't able to actually uh, place rails underwater. But in this update, Minecraft 1.17, you can now place rails underwater. Now, into the uh, water with my minecart and see how this goes. Dang. Now that is what I call interesting. However, I... Uh, come on. I want to go back up to the surface. Uh, ah, come on. I want to go back up to the surface. No. Please, let me live. Let me live. Pretty much minecarts can go through uh, water as well, however they're pretty slow, so if you have any powered rails on you, I suggest you use them. So uh, yeah. Anyways, I think that's pretty much all the features that we can co- oh wait, what is this? Just one more thing, sir. You'll need this. Okay, and it's a spyglass. Alright, let's uh, look through this spyglass. Oh. I guess there's uh, more things to cover with the... Uh, this update as well so so apparently pressing P will open a brand new GUI however 
it'll only work in multiplayer, as shown in the previous video, which I'll put on the screen now. This new GOI will be Microsoft's way of friending people in-game on servers as well. This will hopefully be in effect once your Mojang account migrates to your new Microsoft account, which if you haven't known already, uh, Mojang has announced that your Mojang account or Minecraft Legacy account will be transferring or rather migrating to a Microsoft account. This process will take into effect in Minecraft come 2021, pretty much right when Minecraft 1.17 comes out. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much all there is to cover in Minecraft 1.17. There is more features that have been added into this update, but I'm going to let the other video creators do my job for me. But for now, that is all for this time. If you guys enjoyed this snapshot review and want to see more of Minecraft 1.17, the caves and cliffs update, when it comes out, then be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as well for more content in the not too distant future. But for now, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, we will see you in the next snapshot update. Goodbye. And that is that.